Hey everyone, Ryan here, and welcome back to our Head and Neck Anatomy series. In this video, we'll be talking about the muscles of the tongue. So the tongue muscles are formed by the paraxial mesoderm that eventually becomes the occipital somites. And these muscles are going to be innervated mostly by the hypoglossal nerve, cranial nerve 12, but one of them is an exception that will be innervated by cranial nerve 10. So the tongue muscles can be broken down into the extrinsic muscles and the intrinsic muscles. So the extrinsic ones are originating outside of the tongue, hence the name, and they attach to it. And their function is to alter the position of the tongue. So the extrinsic muscles are the hyoglossus, genioglossus, palatoglossus, and the styloglossus. And how I remember those four names is remembering the phrase, hi, my tongue is a GPS. And hi helps me remember hyoglossus, GPS standing for the first letter of each of those three names. So let's go through these one at a time. The hyoglossus is this muscle here. This one originates from the hyoid bone and inserts into the tongue, glossus meaning tongue. The action of this one is to depress the tongue which makes sense because of its location below the tongue and those fibers are directed in that orientation. This one's innervated by the hypoglossal nerve. The genioglossus is also innervated by the hypoglossal nerve. This one originates into the genial tubercles, also known as the mental spines, same place where the geniohyoid muscle is being is located. You can actually see that muscle right there. The genioglossus is this really big muscle. This one is going to be protruding the tongue, and it makes sense, again, because of its location and the direction of those muscle fibers. The styloglossus is this thinner muscle up here. This one originates from the styloid process of the temporal bone, and of course is going to insert into the tongue. The action of this one is going to be to retract the tongue. Again, just looking at where all these muscles are located and how those fibers are directed, that makes perfect sense. This one also is innervated by cranial nerve 12. Here comes the exception, the palatoglossus muscle. This one originates from the palatine aponeurosis, hence the name, and it, inter and it inserts into the tongue. This one is innervated by cranial nerve 10. It's the only tongue muscle that's not innervated by cranial nerve 12. The action of this one is to elevate the back part of the tongue, and it also forms the palatoglossal arch. That's the anterior pillar of the fossies, and this is just anterior to the palatine tonsil, and it marks the end of the oral cavity proper. And lastly, we have a couple of intrinsic muscles, all of these innervated by cranial nerve 12. That's the longitudinal, the transverse, and the vertical muscles. So where the extrinsic muscles move the tongue, the intrinsic muscles alter the shape of the tongue, and all of them attach entirely within the tongue itself, hence why they're called intrinsic muscles. All right, so that's it for this short video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to this channel for more on dentistry. If you're interested in supporting this channel and what I do, consider backing me on Patreon. Thank you to all of my patrons here for all of your support. You can unlock things like access to my video slide PDFs to take notes on them and practice questions for the board exams. So go check that out. The link will be in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next video.